Hey everybody, welcome back to Barra Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And today we're going to be continuing our little streak here that we have going. And I figured we, since we haven't played as him yet, or her, let's play as Eden. Whatever you might be. So Eden is interesting. That You start with two random items here. So it looks like we got number one. And our item room is Gemini. So, Eden starts with random stats, as well as random items. So I can do mass damage to the whole room at the cost of a heart. So not really that great. And also started with a pill, so what's that do? Speed down. That's not good. I really don't want to start with that. I uh, found a tinted rock over there. Want to try and... Not a bomb. Yeah, Eve starts with... Random, or not Eve, I keep saying Eve, I don't know why. Eden starts with random items every time. So, you never really know what you're going to get every single time you play this character. Now we have a Soul Heart there, we'll leave that for the next, uh, we'll leave that for the next floor. And we've got Dingle as our boss, not too bad. Not too bad. Looks like he's doing the scooting pretty fast. Please don't hit me, Dingle. I need to keep all my hearts because I don't know what's gonna I don't know what's gonna happen. He's just scooting all along. But yeah, you can start with literally any oh scooting again. He's just scooting all along. So we got a range up. Not that great. Hoping for some damage here. But in terms of what you can start with, you can start with Brim. I think you can start with Brim, Tammy's head, and I don't know. Whatever card that would go with to make that combination even more crazy. So it looks like we're not going to be able to bomb that Tinted Rock, unfortunately. As there are no bombs, but we will get that Soul Heart protecting our Devil Deal in the next floor. So hopefully we get a good Devil Deal. Hopefully we get a good one. I don't really know what we're going to get here. And it looks like we're going to get Cellar? I think? Yeah, it looks like we're going to be getting Cellar. So potential Haunt Fight here. Potential haunt fight. But we do have the number one, which is a really large tears up. And I guess range isn't that bad considering number one is a uh, pretty large range down. So maybe maybe range wasn't such a bad idea after all. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking if we end up keeping this streak going, let's say, ooh, that is a terrible idea. I'm going to do it. So anti-gravity tears. They don't move until I make them move. This is not a good idea. We're going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong with this? But I figure if we end up keeping the streak up to 10, I figure maybe that's, maybe that's when we'll jump into the hard mode. I feel like that might be appropriate for the hard mode. Maybe, maybe if we get the streak to 10, we'll bump up the difficulty a little bit. Get, get a few more champions to spawn. Less items. More likely that we're going to get nothing. You know, the usual. The usuals with hard mode. But I'm going to be kind of relying on this first devil deal here to seal the deal on whether or not this run's going to go well. Well, we did get pinned, so that is nice. I really don't like fighting haunt. And you can't see this, but in order for me to fire my tears like this, I have to press it every single time I fire my tears. So... I don't know why I picked it up. Maybe maybe because I wanted the extra hearts. Or the extra tears up. So, got that. That's going to give us another dark heart and some bombs. Flying and Whore of Babylon. Not necessarily a bad idea. So let's go ahead and grab the Whore of Babylon first. And we've unlocked Krampus. So we'll probably end up running into him. Krampus is another thing that you can run into your devil deal. And I actually wouldn't be too mad if we found him because I would really like a Krampus head. Or coal. Either one works. Since we're flying, we get to enter our, our uh, cursed room without taking any damage. However, it's still going to cost half a heart to leave. Really not much on this floor as well. Um... Uh, I guess I'm gonna try bombing this and see if we can see if there's an item room in here. All right, so we got some money. I think we're gonna go visit our item shop. 
We have the extra key, so let's go visit our item shop and see what is potentially inside of there. Because I could really go... Ah, there we go. For another soul heart. For another soul heart. And we're going to keep our money. As much as I would like to donate, that's going to have to come later. That's going to have to come much, much later, because I cannot afford it right now. This run really isn't set in stone until, until the second deal. But at least we're locked into our double deals. We're not going to get any angel rooms now, which is really nice. Angel rooms have, ironically, some of the best items in the game. However, most people don't want them because they also have some of the worst items in the game. I'm looking at you, Dead Sea Scrolls. I'm looking at you. So we got our item room again. Maggie's wig. Our mom's wig. Not that bad. That's going to potentially spawn some extra attack spiders when we shoot our tears. And I can actually hold down for this. So while I hold down my tears, I can potentially spawn uh, more of the spiders. So that's really nice. Let's see what's in our challenge room. Free red chest. I can't give that up. I should have given that up. I don't regret it. I don't regret it. It's fine. We'll see where it goes. But there was a chance, you know, maybe maybe it could have teleported us to a devil deal. Although, actually, getting a devil deal at this point would actually not be a really good idea. I almost prefer chests. I would almost prefer three red chests from a devil deal at this point because it's going to cost three soul hearts. It's going to cost three soul hearts in order to take a devil deal, and that will kill me. And if I don't have the health, then, well, that's not good. So I think I'm going to find... I'm going to try and find uh, some more soul hearts before I actually uh, fight my boss. I think that'll be the most efficient thing to do right now. Random pills, this could be awesome. Or it could do nothing. Stay away from me. All right, so we got another key. Let's definitely find our item shop. There's probably gonna be a soul heart in there. As long as I have four soul hearts, I'll survive a devil deal. I'll survive the devil deal, that's all that matters. Ooh, a diamond there too. So, maybe we can buy an item as well. Looking forward to that. Another cursed room. We'll save that for later. Not gonna really touch that. Need to get this health up. Gotta get that health situation under control. And all we got is a key. So, I guess I'm gonna grab the key. I'll throw one cent in there. Why not? Surprised it didn't break anyway. So, I guess we're gonna go straight to our boss. There's not really much left on this floor again. It's actually been kind of dry for these uh, for these rooms here. But such as Isaac, I feel like the longer my streak's gonna go, the more it's gonna try and kill me. The more it's gonna end up trying to kill me. I do have eight bombs, so I'm probably gonna try my best to bomb those blue fires over there. So that way I can uh, potentially get some more soul hearts. So let's see what we get here. We got blood clot. Which is kind of like a damage app. Kind of. Oh, come on. Get in there. There we go. Five soul hearts. Okay. So we can take a devil deal. Which, contract from below, definitely, definitely worth. Double my uh, item drops. And I think I'm going to take a risk here and actually go to my cursed room. I don't know, I'm feeling a little lucky on the cursed room. Although, let's see if I can't bomb into it first. Aha, so we can, nice. And we get some extra money, always good. And I'm gonna be able to bomb into this cursed room so I won't have to take any additional damage. Which is really good, because as we said, that, that, that whole department's not doing too well. And I get a key for my efforts, as well as some pills. What will these do? Bombs are key. And luck up. Well, it's not necessarily bad. That's not necessarily bad. It's all right. Could have been better. But it could always be better, couldn't it? It could always be better. All right. So let's keep seeing what we get on this next floor here. And I've been reading through the comments uh, of the video and... I'm actually really happy to hear that so many people are picking up The Binding of Isaac because of the series. I really do enjoy making these videos for you all, and you all have been very supportive of it. While it may not be as crazy as, you know, Borderlands, 
it's definitely, it, it holds a special place with me. So we got a liberated camp here, so we can maybe abuse that for some mapping. I can see forever, definitely a, not a bad pill. And we're gonna save our other bomb there. We might bomb the, we might bomb the other mushrooms, we'll see. We'll bomb the other mushrooms, we'll see. But the I can see forever is gonna let me basically have free secret and super secret rooms. The super secret ones are the ones I'm really looking forward to, because they have the chance to either be a dark heart or an eternal heart. Which is something I could really go for right now. Damage actually is not too bad. I could roll with this damage for quite some time, actually. While it might be a little bit annoying to press the tears button every single time I want to fire, at least the damage is all right when I do fire. All right, so we got another item room here, and uh, Spider Baby. This is what I'm saying. Like the longer your streak goes, the more it wants to try and kill you. So that's not going to do me any good, unfortunately. That's only if I get hit, which, in my current situation, don't want that to happen. Let's go ahead and take out these fires, maybe we get some more money. There we go, there's an extra cent. Definitely not going to my Devil Deal just yet. Alright, so now we've got something here. Now we've got something. Maybe this will end up dropping some soul hearts for me. Fortune tellers can maybe drop some tarot cards. Or a bunch of trinkets, but hopefully some soul hearts, which is what I'm, what I'm really going for here. And there we go. There's two more soul hearts. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit this one more time, and I'll be right back with that. Once we've finished off this floor, I'll come back and see what that has to offer again. Maybe we'll find some more money while we're on this floor. Definitely going to scrounge around as much as I can now for those things. And there we go, some more money. This pill will do what? Pheromones, okay. A great chest, not worth it for fighting bosses. And we'll go ahead and blow this up. So good news is, is that we get a free item shop, don't have to spend any keys on it. And it's actually greed, which I'm not actually mad about. That's gonna give us some more money to gamble with, so I'm all right with that. Just one more. Just one more. That's all it takes. Yeah, I've been going through the comments, and I'm glad so many people are enjoying not just the series, but the game itself. It really is kind of refreshing to, I guess you could say, mix it up a little bit between the Borderlands. Don't get me wrong, I love me some Borderlands, but I gotta take a break every now and then, otherwise I'm just gonna get completely burnt out. And burnt out content is not something you want from any content provider because they're gonna start regretting or hating the game that they are playing if that's all they do. Granted, some people can do that, but I need a little bit of a break here, and this Isaac is really giving me that break that I need in order to get back into the Borderlands and provide you, you all the content that you love so much, so. Thank you all for supporting that. Okay, so we have an arcade here, and I think we're actually just gonna bomb everything. I think we're actually just gonna bomb everything and probably get nothing for our efforts. Well, there's a nickel. And there's a thing. Wiggle worm. Ooh, petrified poop. I'll take the petrified poop. Maybe we can get uh, some more poop drops and I can have some fun with that. You know what, let's go ahead and check my cursed room. All right, so we got some blue fires here. And we got two soul hearts for our efforts. So that was not, that was, that's not bad. Half a heart for two hearts, that's definitely worth the trade. Whenever you go into an, a cursed room, though, you always want to make sure... You always want to make sure you have a bomb in there, because... Otherwise... Yeah, you're going to potentially waste some stuff here, so... Let's go gamble away the last 25 cents. I'm sure it's going to break the moment I touch it again, as my luck usually implies, but... I gotta try and get some more soul hearts here. We're doing better. We're definitely doing better. Justice. Not bad. And the crystal ball. I'll take the crystal ball, but we're not going to hit it till the next floor. Crystal ball is definitely better than the razor, though. Which was doing nothing for us. Mega Maul, definitely not that bad. Our damage is actually pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Alright. So we didn't get a devil deal, unfortunately. But we do have two extra heart containers. 
and we're probably going to get another Soul Heart from using this Crystal Ball. Or maybe a Tarot card. You never know. But we will get a little bit of mapping, which will be nice. So let's see, Crystal Ball, what do you have for me today? Got a Soul Heart. And we got full mapping. Let's see. Another Soul Heart. Spend half a heart to get a full heart. Not too bad. Uh, I don't really find a golden chest to be worth it at this moment. Not worth it at this moment. Right now, well... Mm, that could potentially have something in it. And it's got a soul heart in it. Well, there we go. But I was hoping for something a little bit... Uh, I don't know. I was potentially hoping for... Uh, so, like cook its head or anything like that that would may maybe pop up in a golden chest but those are more common on womb than anything else I guess you, I guess but we do have two more red hearts we did lose our horror Babylon but we will be getting it back the reason I want to grab the I wanted to grab those two red hearts rather than keeping my horror on was because well I kind of want to gamble red hearts because if I get a two and a one deal then I can grab both of them for just two red hearts rather than six soul hearts. So, in the long run, it's worth it. It's a little bit of a risk, but it's worth it. So let's go ahead and see what's in our secret room. Got some more pills, so... A little luck up, that's always nice. And pheromones, so not too much. But luck up's always appreciated, especially if I get any kind of tear effect uh, later down the line. But I don't really have too many unlocked here. But if I get one, then we'll see where it goes. So I'm not really going to bother with that long corridor over there. It's just going to be a waste of time. I don't think I can make my boss rush. Or even if I did, I don't really think I have the equipment or the items to really carry me through that. But we'll see where that ends up going. Maybe maybe this next devil deal is just the devil deal. It'll just have all three pieces of guppy. And the game is being very, very generous with the soul hearts. So I can be very appreciative of that. Before we were having issues with health, now we've got more than we, than we know what to do with. And if I take a hit, I've still got the crystal ball, which might spawn something. Alright, spectral tears. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's going to make my tears go through. Alright, we got a two of diamonds. We're going to go ahead and hit that. And we're probably going to either donate as much as we can. Especially with two of diamonds. Alright, so we got the piggy bank. We'll go ahead and grab that. And I'm feeling lucky, so that's a bomber key. Uh, let's just go ahead and donate as much as we can. Maybe, maybe the machine will be hungry this time. Or not. I shouldn't even talk to the machine. That's what I should just do. Whenever I see the machine, I should just completely just shut up. Let's go ahead and use that. Why not? Should have used it in the next room, but eh, it's fine. So what the piggy bank is going to do is whenever we get hit, that's going to drop some money. Although money is going to be irrelevant, pretty much, once we get ne to the next floor. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what our boss is going to end up being. Kill this poop first. And we're going to have full mapping on the next floor, which is going to be nice. So, I'm going to be able to find my item room, find my shop, get to the boss, and hopefully they won't be so spread apart. Maybe then we'll have a similar makeup to this one, and we can maybe make the boss rush. But I'm more worried about other things about that. I mean, I have damage, but as we can see with this fight, I could definitely use a little bit more. Cage is a very tanky boss. The good news is, is that we are flying, so the majority of the attacks can't hit us. Or at least the rolling, which is the most important one. As that one can lead to some... well, some kind of unfair damage. That one I don't like either. But it's fine. We'll keep it going. I am going to wear out my keys by pressing the, the tears every time. I'm going to wear it out. Maybe I should just... There we go. Maybe I should actually use the anti-gravity part of the tears itself. But I'm trying to min-max that damage and not miss any tears. I'm trying to min-max it all the time. So we didn't get a double deal again. But instead we got breakfast... So we're going to go ahead and head down to the next floor. So because the 
because the uh, crystal ball is going to recharge, we might as well use that to get our mapping. We got a dice room. Well, that's not... We got another sun card? All right. I mean, sure. Why not? We'll use a sun card and grab the other sun card. I can see forever. So we've got free rooms here. Uh, we're going to have to be quick if we want to do any of this. So I don't think that's going to be happening. I'm not sure how I got hit there. I'm really not sure. It, the only thing left in that room was a hand. Or was it? Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just blind. Reusable bombs, we don't need that. Let's go ahead and grab our crystal ball again. And chubs. Alright, so here's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna bomb into our secret room and completely bypass this with the secret. No reason in fighting all those guys. Especially with uh, trying to be fast here. But I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. Unless the item room is just really good. Especially now that we have to fight Pin. Well, three of Pins. I don't think it's going to happen. But gosh darn, I'm going to try. You know I'm going to try at least. I have to. Just be kind to me, Pin. No, there's no way. There's no way. We're just trying to force something that just isn't meant to be. It's either going to be meant to be or it just isn't. You got to have kind of a good start. Although it did waste a little bit of time. Maybe in the maybe in the next episode we'll go re we'll focus a lot. All right, so we got the left hand, which I think I'm going to take over the uh, petrified poops. So we're not going to see too many poops. Speed ball, speed and shot speed up. And the soul heart converter. I guess we're going to grab the key. Didn't really get anything from coming down here. But there is a secret room. Or another eternal heart. I guess we're just going to grab as many red hearts as we can. I'm fine with it. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Alright, let's go check our cursed room. Maybe that dice room will have something for us. Maybe that'll be a D6 or something. I'm going to take it. No matter what it is. I think I'm going to take it. Or maybe it'll be a D5. That would actually be really interesting. Alright, so refill on our dark hearts here. One and a half for half. Not too bad. And let's see what this dice room has to offer us. Let's just be honest here. It's probably going to be something that just re-rolls items. It always is. Or, just, or the, uh, the basic consumables. It's going to end up being that. I've also been uh, working on that 101 series. There were a slight few editing errors in there, and I do apologize for that. All right, so we got a D3. And we're going to check these red chests. Pretty fly, not bad. And let's check this other red chest. Troll bombs. We got more red chests. Two soul hearts. And yeah. So I'm pretty sure that re-rolls all the items that are on the floor. Called that one. So that's not going to really do too much for me. Ooh, try to get in there. Alright, so let's see who our boss... Oh, well, our boss is going to be Mom. Let's be honest here. We already know who our boss is. We just need to know if we're going to get a Devil Dealer or not. But yeah, I've been, I've been working on that 101 series. I really do enjoy making that. But... As far as when I'm going to be putting out guides now, I, I want to focus on the quality of them. Maybe you may or may not have noticed. You let me know in the comment section that the guides that I do put out are a little bit, have, have a little bit more editing in them. They take a bit more time to make. You know, a lot of thought goes into making them. A lot of more time and effort. And that's what I want to have. I want to have more quality and less quantity. I'm still going to have daily videos. I'm always going to have an Isaac video for you every day. I'm still going to have a Borderlands video for you every day. And starting soon, I'm also going to have a Destiny video for you every day. So I'm going to still have that nice daily content. But as far as my guides go, I want to focus on the, on the quality of it. Rather than just pushing out a bunch of them. And I still plan on finishing the Legendary series. At least I hope I do. When the, when, maybe when TPS is... In a better state of things, I guess I could say. 
Maybe when TPS is in a better state of things. We'll we'll see where it goes. I'm basically just rambling at this point while we wait for Mom to kind of die. I take back what I said about our damage being alright. I take back what I said. Alright, so thankfully, we got a devil deal. And we have a lot of hearts here. I probably shouldn't have picked up that many hearts, but we're gonna Krampus. Well, I knew it was gonna happen. So we're not gonna really get Hmm. We're not gonna really get any more horror Babylon Brocks. Maybe picking up red hearts was a really bad idea. Potentially a really bad idea. Something I should not have done. But it's fine. Was, okay, so we got Lump of Coal. We can at least get some more some more damage. So what Lump of Coal does is that the further your tiers go, the more damage that they do. So you want to be further away rather than be close. Which is kind of contradicting what I currently have, which is low range, but whatever. I'm sure Womb will be fine. It is still normal mode. So we're going to go ahead and use the Sun card and figure out where the hell we're going. Uh, I do want to check... I do want to check my Cursed Room. There still could be things in there. Not just Gubby pieces. Although a tail would be really nice right now. Uh, but... But maybe some actual items. Maybe a pentagram or a tail. Okay. See? Just gotta ask for Guppy. Guppy works in mysterious ways. No one knows how Guppy works. Guppy, if Guppy wants to appear, Guppy will appear. If he doesn't, mm, yeah. If you're playing as a lost, probably not. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and dark heart that entire room. Uh, let's go ahead and use our globe here. Get another soul heart procking. So what Guppy's tail is gonna do is it's gonna increase the chance for any chest to spawn. And because we have the hand, it is going to turn the chests into red chests. And red chests can have guppy pieces. So I'm kind of debating clearing more rooms for a higher chance for chests, for a higher chance for guppy. Although we really don't need to become guppy every single run. We have to become guppy every single run. We, we, we have to become guppy. It's, 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 not, it's not a game until we become guppy. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's see. I'm really bad at bombing big rooms. Even if I know where it's at, I'm still really bad at bombing big rooms. I need to get better at that. But either way, let's go ahead and bomb our secret room. See what's inside there. Greed. Super greed, actually. Which, unfortunately, I have no use for your money. Or your Steam sales. 50% off, which is funny because I, I think the game's 50% off right now. It's usually always on sale. All right. First boss. Devil deal. Get rid of all of these red hearts. Although, I don't even think with three devil deals that are all going to consume red hearts that I'm going to be able to get rid of all of these. I have to get rid of a lot of them. But we can still try. All right, so two red chests. Unfortunately, nothing inside of those. Hematosis and explosive diarrhea. All right, interesting room. Let's go ahead and see who our boss is. Teratoma, spider boss. Now, if fun little fact is that if you manage to break them on, I think it's on top of a square, or oh my god, I am just that spider just took out a large portion of my health. Where did it all go? And tears down. Well, this is going well. At least I have a tarot card. I should have waited on the next floor to do that, but... At least Mother's watching over me. At least she's watching over me. And that's all that really matters at the end of the day. So anyway... 6SJRTCTJ! The seed... I totally forgot to do. Okay. Maybe we can do something here. May no, we're not gonna be able to do anything in here. Let's just be honest. We're not gonna be able to. We're not gonna be able to do anything in here. 
I thought maybe. I need to get better at reminding myself to actually look at the seed. I keep doing that. I, al I almost forgot completely this time. I caught myself in catacombs. Granted, it's always going to be in the description, but still, that's not acceptable. That is not acceptable, Bar. You gotta, you gotta remember that stuff. This is, this is your playthrough, and you want to let people play it with you, and then you're not even giving them the seed. What are you doing? Are you some kind of casual? Curse room, very tempting. You know what? Let's take it. I regret everything. Well. We've got bombs. Let's try bombing. Let's try bombing. And nothing. And nothing. Okay. So we're gonna take a heart. We're gonna take a heart of damage here. Well, the beggar. Maybe we can just get more red hearts. We'll become the red heart tank, which we're perfectly set up for that. There we go. Get some lunch. Get some breakfast. Get some dinner. Get some everything. A little bit of everything. Although I don't think we've had dinner yet. We've had lunch and breakfast. Alright. This should be fairly simple. We're going to get a soul heart or potentially another card. At the end of this room. Hopefully it's a card that's going to be... Yeah. That's a soul heart. I'm not mad about that. It's either going to be a soul heart or a card. Let's go ahead and bomb that. I think that may be too far. No, okay, good. We still got it. Didn't get anything for it, though. Did not get anything for it, though. So we got to go through our big room. We have to go through our big room in order to reach our boss here. And it's going to be Gertie's. That's not going to be too bad. That's not going to be too bad. We can fly, thankfully, so we can dodge all of Gertie's bullshit. Which is nice, because Gertie's got to be my least favorite boss because of really bad memories with the Lost. Really, really bad memories of the Lost. Alright, that should be the end of Gertie. Got his little fly. Got the gurgling. And... Gu guppy? No guppy. But we do get two soul hearts. Alright. I don't think we're going to go to Sheol. Even if it pops up. Because I'm not that confident in this. But we can kill Mom's heart. I say this. We're probably going to fail to Mom's heart. I have to just say that, so that way, when I do inevitably fail, I can say I called it. Just like when everyone says, go, when they try and go for first comment. Which I don't know why anyone hates trying to go for first comment. I'm okay with that. There are people dedicated enough to watch the video and try and go for first comment. So, I mean, why not? Ow. Well, that's one hit. I don't know if I should even take Shell. I'm going to probably end up getting it. But we're definitely going to kill Mom here. Definitely going to have a Mom kill. So that's nice. We're probably going to end up hitting it right here. Well, I mean, we could keep going. I mean, we could. But is it is it a good idea? No. So let's do it. I have the worst ideas ever. At no point did, did I... I just, Don't go to Sheol. Well, we got the coat hanger. Don't go to Sheol. You can't handle Sheol. Your damage is bad for Sheol. We still have two damage. We still have two damage. We haven't found any damage of this entire run. Why did I do this? Oh, well. Maybe he'll give me a tarot card and it'll be awesome. And I'll somehow find the one-shot tarot card. Alright, so Book of Sin has appeared in the basement. Not too mad about that. Uh, the moon. I'll definitely take that. Let's go ahead and find a secret room. And it's going to have in there... Bomber keys. Another pretty fly. So that'll help with uh, dealing with Satan's stuff. And some troll bombs. Go ahead and use another thing over here. Another bombs are key. I can see forever. And let's go ahead and head out this way. I don't know if this is the right way, but you know. You know, you know. You never know. You never know. Remind me to never go to Sheol when I have two damage. 
Remind me to not do that, especially with manual have to press every single time tears. But it's in the name of the streak, right? It's in the name of the streak that we have to do this. I'm sure people are going to say, oh, it's normal mode. That's true. That is very true. That's a valid argument. But I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point with myself. Because there's really not much to explain other than, hey, maybe I shouldn't get hit. All right, so we do have something over here. This could be our savior. It's so tempting. It'll reroll everything. It gave me more health. I'm scared. Oh god, what if it Oh uh, hey! I got I mean I Whoa! Whoa! What's this? What is this? I have shielded tears? And homing tears? What what build is this? What do I have? I have the wafer too? I have I have Blessing, I have Wafer, I have... What is this? What is this reroll? This is like a magical blessing from the sky. Well, I, I think we're going to do just fine now. And, I mean, worst case scenario, I can just sit here and... Eventually, Satan will die of old age. I'm never going to do that, because... That would be a terrible idea. Best way to guarantee that uh, no one's ever going to watch another episode. So it looks like this is all the wrong way. So I need to head back to my original room here. If I want to find... I'm so used to actually having to press every time that I fire that I've been doing it this entire time. Oh, I can break rocks too. Okay. Oh, cool. I still got my two orbitals though. So that's, that was nice of it. Uh, yeah, it's just... Apparently I can break rocks. What else can I do? What else can I do? Magical re-roll of wonder. Mr. Mega, I'll take you. Apparently I have a ton of bombs as well. Apparently I have a ton of bombs as well. So that's alright. What kind of bombs do I- ooh, that's a big bomb. That is a big bomb. We are going to need to be a little bit careful here. We do have a wafer. And that turned into a joker card. Because why not? And sure, I'll take fear shot. I'll take a little bit more damage. Alright. We need to find... Oh, I have I have the thing that makes the... When I'm trying to explain stuff, I lose my words. But I also have the upgrade that makes it so my tears pull the enemy in towards me. This could be terrible. Or awesome. We'll see. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work on the Fallen when he's going to charge me. But I'm going to use pheromones on him and maybe they'll attack each other. Okay, so I don't have flying anymore. That's unfortunate. Maybe I was going the right way. Maybe I was going the right way. And I've been going the wrong way now. Where am I going? I am lost. But not like the law. Okay, so uh, we're, we're going to keep that. We're going to keep the strength card for the fight. This has definitely turned out to be an interesting run. So, we've got Shielded Tears. Nod Leaf. Orbitals. Minor Cap. Mr. Mega. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. Alright, so this is the way we go. Nice. We found it. I knew we would eventually find it, but we got it now. We got it now. If you've made it this far, I would, I would like to hear, I have no idea what's going on. Because that's, that's pretty much that's pretty much sums up what's, what, what is going on with this run at this point. I have no idea what is going on. And I always like adding in those random keywords. All right, I'll just take all the money. What's in the super secret? All right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Let's fight Satan. I I don't know how Satan's gonna work with the super pull everything into me tears, but it can't possibly be bad, right? No, it can't possibly be bad. At least our damage went up. How much did our damage go up? Max damage. I mean, that's always nice. Having max damage is always cool. It's definitely interesting uh, pulling them all around, but it doesn't seem like it made the fight too much harder. Um, Satan, that's... 
I, I, I don't, I don't like you that much. I don't like you that much. Okay. Okay, we can stop this, Satan. But it looks like this is going to be a victory for us, especially since we can get this random Polaroid Brock that lasts forever. So I might just throw myself into these feet here, try and get some extra damage. And apparently I also have Leech. So, worst case scenario, I kill the enemies and I'll acquire Leech and heal myself through the whole boss fight. Longevity. The strategies to keep a streak going in true desperation. But I don't think we're that desperate. So this looks like it's going to be a victory. I want to thank you all for watching. This has been an interesting run for Eve, to say the least. Eve is nothing but random, and random is what we got in this run. So, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. It does support me in what I do. As always, don't forget to subscribe for future content. I'll catch you all in the next video, everybody. Later.